Hi everyone, my name's Ben and I'm the Development Manager here at Altrove. Thanks for tuning in today. I'm excited to provide an update on all things Altrove. But before I begin, I'd like to acknowledge the Darug people as the traditional custodians of the land and pay my respects to Elders, past, present and emerging. As we come to the end of this incredibly challenging period, my priority and all of Stockland's will continue to be the health, safety and well-being of all our residents, people and community partners. In today's community update, you'll meet the rest of the Outro team, including Marlene, our community marketing manager, and Kerry, our customer relations specialist. Construction at the commuter car park is well underway and will be carried out entirely under the direction of Transport for New South Wales, as these works are not associated with Stockland. We encourage you to get in contact with Transport should you have any concerns on the number on the screen or email projects at transport.newsouthwales.gov.au. The construction of the car park will also provide residents with a second access point in and out of Outrove onto Schofields Road via the extension of Calder Street. Stockland will be constructing the extensions of Calder Street and Outro Boulevard from Rosetta Street to enable the connection with the commuter car park in early 2022. Our plans for developing land within the Transport Investigation Corridor on the northern side of Outro Boulevard remain on hold pending confirmation of the Metro line and station location by Transport for New South Wales. We have not received the final location or design of this and will keep the community up to date once updates form. At present, we are working on planning options with Council for the Outro Village Centre and will share further information with you in the coming year as we continue discussions with Council. In the meantime, we are still planning to deliver a temporary community hub now proposed to be located adjacent to the commuter car park, including a cafe, community centre, play spaces and additional open space. As the commuter car park acquisition has been completed and construction is underway, the location of the temporary community hub had to be adjusted. With so much happening at the northern end of the site, it's really important for us to get this right and deliver amenity for the community as quick as possible. As soon as we're able to receive endorsement and approval through council, we'll share our plans with the community. You might have noticed some of the sections of the Hilltop Park closed over the last few months. We're working on some improvement works to make the park better for the entire community and these works should be completed in early 2022. Further tree planting and landscaping will also occur with improvements to the grassed areas to be undertaken once construction is completed. We have asked for the bins in the park to be emptied more regularly during this period of increased use as we all enjoy more outside time during summer. There are no upcoming land releases here at Altrove in the immediate future. However, we are excited to have submitted the DA on our future townhomes for Stage 10. The proposal for community living will feature 65 townhouse dwellings and over 1,800 square metres of community open space in Stage 1. Stage 2 of our proposal will include shop top apartment dwellings sitting above retail, which will be included in the Calder Street extension. Hi everyone, I'm Marlene. I'm the Marketing Manager at Altrove. Today I'll be providing you a quick update on community events. Due to the recent restrictions, it's been quite difficult to hold any community events on site. But as restrictions ease, we are hopeful to bring the community back together in a COVID safe way. Thank you to our residents who tuned in to our virtual activities, particularly our family show. It was great to see so many residents come together for a night of fun. And Live Life Get Active is back on site. So head to Hilltop Park and reconnect with your neighbours and get active. Bookings are now open. A big congratulations to our residents who won Blacktown City Council's Dwali Light Competition. And well done to Ward Street. We were blown away by the beautiful light displays in our community. And we are so excited to launch our community cookbook this year. The cookbook will showcase a diverse range of recipes across our New South Wales communities for residents to keep and enjoy for many years to come. Keep an eye out for a special delivery coming to you soon. Lastly, stay tuned for our favourite event of the year, Christmas. Someone special is set to visit Outrove again. More information is coming shortly. Hi everyone, I'm Kerry. I'm part of the customer relations team here and I look after all the customers uh, for land at Outrove. We are pleased to let you know that coordination is continuing with Sydney Trains regarding works on installing a permanent fence and removing the temporary fencing along Siding Terrace. The Altrove team is coordinating the final design of the new fence and awaiting confirmation of the design and install date from Sydney Trains, who are the required authority to approve these works. 
Works on the fence are unable to proceed without the appropriate safety measures when working in a rail zone, which is crucial for staff, contractors and residents. As soon as we are able to confirm a date with Sydney Trains, work will begin. We want to say a big thank you for your patience with the rollout of street trees at Altrove. Our team has been cautious not to plant trees until all dwelling construction works on site were complete. This has ensured that the new trees are not damaged by increased activity, which can often happen on site during the construction phase. Thanks for tuning in today. It's been great to share some updates with you and we look forward to hearing from you soon. Have a safe Christmas.